Today on Gadget Class, we're taking a look at an Eco 396 submersible pump. These things can be used from anything from a koi pond to an aquarium to a laser, which is what I bought it for. Uh, they can be used inline or submersible. Um, pretty, uh, pretty multi-featured across the board. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. We'll do some uh, performance tests with real water here at the end of the video. So we get our pump, we get our adapters, and the instructions are kind of crunched down in there. Even torn at the top a little bit. But that doesn't matter, it's just the uh, generic instructions anyways. General use, operation, safety, maintenance, and cleaning, warranty, generic stuff like that. And a parts diagram. Pretty simple. What kind of adapters do we get here? Let's take a look. We've got that looks like a like a five sixteen three eighths, and it's actually a little bit bigger than three eighths. We got a half inch straight output uh, with a bleed off valve. We got three quarter inch. We got another one of these. We got two of those. Two of these three quarter inch. We got the half inch bleed off. And we've got a directional uh, fan thing. What do we get in here? Little rubber feet are kind of bent over. They'll probably reform, but they don't seem very robust. You know, these are supposed to be uh, vibration dampeners and also suction cups, but they don't seem all that strong. Uh, we'll see if it holds itself in place on the bottom of a bucket here. We have these uh, standard half inch outputs. All the attachments screw in, half inch NPT. And we even got one right down here so that you can use it in line. And I'm guessing that's why they give you two of each type of uh, adapter. So if you're using it in line, you're gonna screw in right there and you're gonna take off the filter housing. Inside the filter housing, we have a little diffusion thing. We got a pretty nice sized filter. That's gonna help protect it if you're using it in a koi pond or fish pond. Um, that will get dirty though eventually. You're gonna to wanna to Take that out and clean it regularly. Uh, make sure you clean it. I have seen some. Re well, I guess those do work pretty good. And sticking to this wooden desk here. There are reports of this part popping off too easily. Um, mine feels pretty firm, um, especially with it constantly sucking in. I don't see how it would be a big problem there. Those, those do work pretty good. Let's take a look on the inside. It's got an o-ring on it. it, keeps that dry, and then our impeller, they say it's a ceramic impeller so that you can use it in saltwater systems. They've got a nice layer of oil on there, so this part is ceramic, um, allow you to use it in saltwater environments, and I'm guessing that's ceramic also. The impeller is plastic, and this is a nice large magnet, so it is a, a brushless um, completely encased uh, coil there. And then this is all take apartable and serviceable, like so. So, pretty good design. Seems like it's uh, pretty robust. Should last a good long time. That is oiled up pretty good there. The magnet's nice and strong. It actually s sucks that in there really good. It's got quite a Strong, yeah, that's pretty strong. It's got a nice cog to it. So I think it'll be a nice, powerful pump. So the actual uh, stator is actually completely encased, so it should be nice and watertight. It seems pretty well built. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it'll do good. The only thing I don't like is it didn't come with a true 3 8 or 5 16 That's actually bigger than 3 8 Pull out a 
Take a measure here. So that's half inch. Looks smaller than a half inch, but I guess that's half inch. That would make these three quarter as I thought. And this one here should this bleed off valve. And it's like five eighths. Okay. So they give you two half inch, two three quarter, and one five eighths with a bleed off valve. Pretty good for most pond, uh, ponds and stuff. Uh, most most of the things you're going to be using a 396 gallons per hour pump for are going to take the larger hose, but I'm using it for a laser, and my hose is actually 516. So I'll have to adapt it down a little bit. But no big deal there. Let's uh, take it outside and see what we can do with it. We're going to do the inline pump test first. We have a half inch NPT nipple, about 10 inches, to a three quarter inch hose adapter, um, to a 25 foot hose into a bucket of water. 25 feet is quite a long distance, and as I found out, the pump is not self priming, so I had to suck on the, the output there to get it to prime. Keep that in mind. If you're going to be using it for inline functionality, it is not self priming. So let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do. I'm just going to do inline. And right now it's got the half inch output adapter bar fitting on it. About four inches. About three inches. All right, I'm going to switch over to submerge test. The submerge test got the water line right at the top of the nipple. As soon as I plug it in, that'll go down to the level of the nipple. Let's see how high we can get. It's about the same as it was in line. So that's six feet and twenty five feet of length. Let's see if we can do eight feet. Alright, that's about eight feet. The top of the garage is eight feet. And it's not doing it. A bit lower. So it looks like six feet with three quarter inch hose is about the best you're going to get. It's uh, pretty respectable. You could probably do better if you're using a three eighths line. 3 8 inch hose or 5 16 could probably get even higher, but uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good example. Three quarter inch hose. So overall, it's pretty impressive for its size. It's really quiet. 
Um, seems to be constructed really well. The rubber feet work pretty well. And I like the fact that you can hook up any standard half inch NPT fitting. Um, and everything's uh, really good. They got O-rings on all the fittings. Um, comes with half inch, five eighths, and three quarter inch barb fittings. And uh, you can either use it with the, the sculptor or in line like that. So overall I'm pretty impressed. I think it'll do the job. I'll post a video update if it has any kind of longevity issues. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, be sure to use my links. I'll put a link up here to this product as well as down in the, the description below. Thanks for watching.